Episode 90, Zodiac Killer Case, The R.H. Suspects. Okay, as you probably know, this poem was written on a desk inside the RCC library. And it ended with the initials R.H. So, in a previous episode, I looked at students with the initials R.H going in descending order. So first I looked at individuals from Shay Joe Bates's senior class, class of 1966. And so here are the gentlemen here. And I just looked at Robert Barton because he kind of looks at the, like the sketch of the Zodiac Killer. And then I put a little blue check if they pass my background check. So he checked out, I didn't see anything suspicious. And then Rick Hadley, I didn't notice anything there. Bob Henson, and then Randy, he was a quarterback football player. Rick Horn was a little difficult to get information on, but he passed. And then Russell Hudson, he checked out. And then in the class of 1965, we had Richard Hanley, he got a check. Raymond Lee Harris checked out. John Horn, another name that was hard to find information about, but I gave him a check. And then Hyman was a uh, in the military, like several others. The issue with being in the military is you kind of have an alibi because you're in basic training or you're deployed or you're in Vietnam. So how can you commit the murder if you're there? The person has to be, in my opinion, has to be older and had been in the military and then could be a suspect. But they can't be in this age range and be a suspect. Class of 1964, Robert the Swimmer checks out. Robert Harris seemed to check out. Roy Harris checked out. And then we know from reports and DNA that the suspect was a white male. And so Ron checks out. And then Robert T. Hunt is the only one that drew a little bit of suspicion for me. Then in the class of 1963, he checks out. And then Rex Hamilton of 62 checks out and Robert Hamilton and I'll just let you know there's a lot of Hamiltons and finally the class of 1961 thank God Roger Harris was another veteran seemed to be an all-around good guy he checked out Richard he checked out and Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. After doing hours and hours of research on these people, I have concluded this, that these suspects don't seem to be old enough, that Riverside was a safe city at the time, and it was probably an outsider, that a psycho killer probably is not going to create a family tree on Ancestry.com. And then there's a lot of people with the initials R.H. And finally, it's going to be pretty upsetting if I actually looked at the Zodiac Killer, but I didn't know it. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved. And on the next episode, we have a really big show for you. I name another suspect, but it's done in kind of a simulation. And I'm worried a little bit that you're not going to take it serious because the way that it's presented. But it's fact-based. And that's all I'm going to say. So you'll have to watch this episode. So I'll see you Saturday night for the big episode.